Hey, hey, Josh Morgerman here, also known as Hurricane Man. Okay, so you follow the weather. I know that's true because you're watching this video. But are you the casual watcher, like you just want to know if it's going to rain later? Or are you more like me, a hardcore weather nerd who wants to know exactly what's happening around him and dig deep into the data? Well, either way, there's one place for you, the Ambient Weather Network. It's a complete weather app that lets you view your forecast, access unlimited data across a massive national network of weather stations, record and share your own readings if you have a home station, create your own forecasts, and connect with fellow weather watchers. So it's a weather forecast center, data hub, personal dashboard, and digital community all in one, wrapped up in a sleek, easy to use interface. Let me walk you through it. Ready? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. You can download the Ambient Weather app from your iOS or Android app store. It takes a sec. Create an identity and login, and then bam, you're ready to go. Tap the map icon so the view centers on your GPS location. You'll see your local forecast right there waiting for you. Current conditions, hour by hour, and the upcoming week. Actually, I call this forecast hyperlocal because it's tailored to your specific location, not the nearest big city like the evening news does it. And maybe that's all you want. Maybe you just want to know if it's going to rain tomorrow. Me? I want more. So let's explore. Tap the thermometer icon to see temperatures in your area. The dots are weather stations, everything from official government ones to home setups. The color overlay is kind of like a heat map of your area, showing where it's hot and where it's not. Tap the wind icon to see how hard it's blowing. It's calm right now, but this layer looks pretty wild when a hurricane's coming ashore and those winds start to rip. Tap the radar icon to see where it's raining. You can animate this view to see which way the precipitation is moving. Notice you can zoom in or out for tighter or wider views at any time. Me, I like to get real detailed to see what's happening at specific locations. That's easy. Tap any one to drill down for more info. You can see all the current data and, if you're a serious nerd, you can go even deeper for historical data based on the parameters you want. Sorry, I'm getting carried away here. Point is, there's as much data as you're willing to harvest. You can favorite your go-to weather station so you can return to them with one tap at any time. But the Ambient Weather Network ain't just about data, it's a community. See these comment icons on the map? Tap them to get the thoughts, musings, and forecasts of your fellow weather watchers. But what if you're less social and more visual? That's cool. Look for the play icons. They bring up cool time-lapse videos from other folks on the network. I love these. I spend way too much time looking at them every day. It's like an addiction. One last thing I want to show you is this alert feature. You can set it up to give you a text or email notification when a specified condition occurs. For example, the wind exceeds 40 miles an hour or the temperature goes below freezing. But again, a lot of you are just going to use this app to get today's forecast or Saturday's chance of rain. And that's cool too. The Ambient Weather Network is as much for the casual user as it is for the pro. That's the beauty of it. It's as simple or as rich as you want it to be. But you know what I dig most about the Ambient Weather Network? I get to show my stuff. Yep, if you own an Ambient Weather home station, this app is your station's online dashboard and your cloud-based data repository. After you set up your weather station, it takes literally three seconds to connect it to the app. Couldn't believe how simple it was. And once you do that, you're all set. Now you can remotely monitor conditions and review data at your station all through a simple dashboard no matter where you are. You can keep your station private so only you can see it. But I think it's cooler to make it public so you're enriching the community with your data and bringing your unique viewpoint to the discussion. Oh, and there's this one other cool feature for station owners. You can create your own forecast for your region and share it with the community. And that's great because who knows the odd quirks of your microclimate better than you? Nobody. 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 I've been showing you the Ambient Weather Network app, but there's a browser-based desktop version too for when you're sitting at your computer. It has all the same functional features as the app and it works pretty much the same way. So I switch seamlessly back and forth between the two. Me personally, I use the desktop version more than the app. Why? Because I like to sit down and dig deep into the data and big screens are better for that. Yeah, it's a nerd thing. So there you have it, the Ambient Weather Network. Join the community today, get your local forecast, explore the data, connect your station, jump into the conversation and show your stuff. Have questions? Find me on Twitter. As always, I'm here to help.